Right now, uh, childhood obes obesity is, is higher than it's ever been. Type 2 diabetes among children is higher. And you know, even though children are playing sports, they're not necessarily physically fit. For the first time, we're really implementing a health and wellness program in an entire district. And more than that, we're working with two great universities, the University of San Diego, University of Virginia, to actually measure the results so we know what are the benefits. Will this project result in better academic achievement of students, less bullying in the district, and a variety of other indicators? And it's our hope it does, but we need to evaluate it, research it, and find out um, what we intuitively know, but we need the facts. Oh, I hear stories from teachers or from parents where they're telling me that if the student is faced with a, a challenge, you know, that there's a curricular challenge or there's a personal challenge that they're facing, that they're able to apply some of the strategies that they use during yoga and, and to help them to kind of overcome or, or just go through the, the challenge that they're facing in the classroom. The yoga helps me in class because it relaxes my body. After yoga, I feel like happy. I feel happy. It makes me concentrate more. The teachers, some of them are really seeing a lot of behaviors when they go back and they want to teach math after I've seen them. They said that they're right on task and they're listening and they're right there participating. So they actually have seen a big change. I like to um, look forward to going to yoga just because it's fun. This is a good way in terms of uh, providing the students with tools for the future, not just for the present, but also for the future. Essentially what we're attempting to do is put health and wellness at the forefront of education programs throughout the state and other states. And we're using these therapies and these solutions and these techniques in an effort to do that. You're investing in quality of life because if someone is healthier, they're going to have a much, much better quality of life. We believe that yoga will have a positive impact on the academic success of our students as well. We are creating a model that can be emulated by other districts, by states, by entire nations. This partnership started after a year beta testing this at the Capri School. It met with such a reception after the first year by parents and children that we thought we'd do three or four more schools. We need to holistically approach education and we have never done that consistently and systemically in any school district in the United States. And here's an opportunity for us to begin to take a look at that. We're gonna scale this up to include other districts after we get the enabling permission from both the Credentialing and California Curriculum Commission.